form so formidable that its resilience can be distilled down to an essence heavier than any metal on the table of elements. So powerful in its own systems that its kinetic drive carves a deep rut in the blonded sand, reimagining itself in a natural world. Labor, pleasure, care, whisper each other's names under their breath, but with a solid force, just as organs glance at themselves knowingly. Its movements can mobilize, document, decree, and act, direct, and choreograph a sexual moan. Hand in hand, fingers interlaced, like the potent pages of time. Dynamic dilettante, reinvigorated by laborious appendages, cured through repetitive motion, cured through repetitive flow, cured through repetitive transformation. The archaeology of one's own body that inherits its own complexities through methodologies then buck up against reason's broad chest. Gaze upon that cool reckoning, good digit indicating direction and forethought, gaining breath from out of a thin line of rage. Carry it on the roof of the mouth that cocksure anger that calls to be mapped out and played. What we celebrate in that queer excavation when data, scores, marks layer up to where the domestic means more than before. The moon's blonde marrow from a pale pastel palette born of stone reflects the sun's distant fire she is wrapped in ash, grayed with time, as grandmother's hair, whose spirit holds her shoulder while the midwife coaxes it out. And if the thunder and the moon were somehow more than friends, that marrow would not need coaxing, but emerge to fling itself at the sun's distant fire of her own volition. When chasms are to be fathomed, what does the Mariana Trench have to say? That gap between second and pause, between inhale and out again? Strain trachea end to end in a long tube of breath, reaching back onto itself to conduct a pulse that beats in, out. A twitch, a glance, a skin that shudders on its own. Switch it, dance it, stare it down without blinking as if the muscles in our eyes are the strongest, are what define our dominance and speak with more syllables than words ever could. A curve, a line, a foolish man thinking grace will lie down on a whim. Starve it, brine it, preserve its sweetness in a rigid bounce while doing away with old wives' tales. Testimony as pulse on sinews, spanning fibrous tissues and forms, pushing realms of inspiration, fluid, with grief and growth. Liberations found by a feline confidant and tiny parcels of portraiture personified across distances of small tokens of gratitude. Peeking around the corner 
to smile. Delicate flora stamen glancing to, absorbed from sister's meditations, laid out on the slide. Feeling at boundaries to embrace the dirt and mouthful, seeking solace in the glitches, the fragments of the physical world, as the corporeal hides from your eyes, must touch that desire, must consent to exchange, the strategy of fragility, the release found in decomposition, encased, in vibration incarnate, glass bed, lens to look through to the surface below. Veins throb as conduits of light and force a flow through a body as a bright tide that rises, falls, stumbles, and sways in its humanity. Forehead gripping at nothing, opens its palms, falls back to let closed eyes see things they couldn't even fathom in the waking world, apart from one another, without something to focus on. These tense hands open their palms that grasped at anything to stop the fall. Pages unravel to reveal scribbled messages that flowed faster than the hand could record. Pages join at the spine, hinting at what's written on the other side, turn and caress as they fall into each other, cause a breeze like warm sighs. Pages so large, the places where they overlap dig into the gypsum and evaporate the spaces in between. Numb limbs wrapped in cold glory, shaking as the daughter of shivers morph to stand up to the suppressed. Winter looks down to lust after the landscape, getting lost in her own drifts to crawl through that cold wet. Finally, at the voyeur's foot to claim identity like it's a flag in that very snow. Just as stagnation pulls at vibrant tissues, natural in their vibrant struggle. Just as foliage, proud of her corporeal green, finds her limits in growth, stems from gravity's pulsating urge. Just as lines exist to delineate what distinguishes one from another, she pulls back her structures, recoils, and mutates to find power in an intimate position in a glen and a claustrophobic self embrace raw materiality moves with bold creeping along the mainstream along a capitulating margin when rhythms misalign the intensity of a brazen white femininity and how that form is framed Paired with an ambivalence, paralleled 
with a different history, gazing down at a drawn line. Using a black body to nudge out a small crevice to nestle, make a space beyond the pale, in between the crossroads of heartbeats. <laughs> 